Good evening, Internet. I have a Boo Kitty! Yeah, Boo's not very happy with me. She doesn't like being in these videos. I think she's camera shy. Unfortunately, she doesn't get a choice because the Internet demands cats. Probably captioned ones. There you go, Boo. So today, uh, the reason why you can sort of see my monitor over here is that I thought I would go through the things that I actually use on my computers, as in software-wise. Um, to be honest, this is probably not that interesting to most people, but uh, this is actually something people have asked me before, so for once I'm actually addressing fewer concerns. I guess they're not really concerns. Fewer issues. No, they're not issues. That fewer questions. There we go. So... Here we go. I'll show you what I've been doing. Whee! Please keep watching. So, I thought I would show you generally the way I end up using my desktop. I've had a lot of people ask me, you know, why do I have 16 gig of RAM on my desktop or anything like that? And well, the answer is that I use a lot of RAM. Um, this is actually generally the way my desktop looks. I usually have this a little bit larger, but... Um, I also use my laptop in the same way, I use tablets very similarly that I use laptops. And I thought you might enjoy some background music. Um, don't mind the dubstep. It was Creative Commons and I'm allowed to actually share this one. Uh, so some of the things that I do on my- oh, so to give you an idea, I'm not exactly using a small amount of RAM here. I This particular setup happens to be bumping up to 8 gig of RAM from time to time. Really, it's probably not going to exceed a gig of RAM. The only reason why it's bouncing this much is because I'm recording, and for some reason it seems to be caching large amounts of stuff in the recording and then flushing it to disk. I don't know why. Um, going over some of the applications that I use on a regular basis, well, we've got Chrome here, and yes, this is actually Chrome, believe it or not. Um, I have, you know, my RSS feed sitting there, I have a large number of RSS feeds. I think I figured out I'm over 200 now. Um, I have lots and lots of tabs open. I frequently have something playing from YouTube or alternately something playing from FUBAR over here. Um, FUBAR 2000 is the um, video player that I prefer to use. Or video. I can't speak today. The audio player that I prefer to use. Um, I just have it load up a decently large number of folders from my... Um, audio drive. Uh, let's see. This is my Twitter client here. I use Metro Twit. It's no longer supported, unfortunately. It makes me very sad because this is probably the best Twitter client that I have ever used. Admittedly, I haven't used that many, but still, um, I follow a fairly large number of YouTubers and other people. It's not really anything special. Uh, this right here is Quassel. Quassel is the IRC client that I use. I use IRC on a near constant basis. If I have a device with me, whether that's my phone, whether that's my tablet, whether that's my laptop, whether that's my desktop, I am probably connected to IRC. Yeah. Um, let's see, what else? Um, I use Notepad++. I usually keep a blank notepad open at all times, just so I can easily write things. Oh, who no longer wants to be on my lap? That's sad. Um, I just keep this so I can, you know... You know, things like that. Or just notes to myself. Uh, especially do this while I'm vlogging. Or while I'm prepping for a vlog, I should say. Uh, let's see. My email client of choice is EM client. EM client is a lot like Outlook, only not sucktastic. It's very fast. No, I don't particularly want to import my holidays. I haven't used the calendar on my desktop. Usually the way I do this is that I use my laptop for everything. Um, let's see. VLC is the media player that I usually use. Again, this normally stays open at all times just because I play something and then don't bother closing it. It's... This is part of the reason why I use 8GB of RAM. I know I could change all of the ways that I use computers and things like that, but I don't want to. Let's be honest here. This is what's comfortable and fast for me. I can switch between things extremely fast. I don't have to worry about what's running. I don't have to worry about really much of anything whatsoever. It's pretty nice. Uh, let's see. So, this is actually... I still have the Welcome to Earth Day 
video open right now. Um, I use Sony Vegas Studio HD Platinum 11. That's a horrible name, by the way, Sony. You have got to remove some of these names. Oh, hey, look, spam. Um, and yes, this is generally the way my editing ends up looking. Um, to give you an idea, I believe I was up to about here before on video before I started cutting it down. And this is one of the least cut up videos that I've done. There's only a few cuts, as you might be able to see. I'll probably have a video later as to how to how I use Sony Vegas. I'm not necessarily the greatest person in the world. Uh, let's see. I have EPSXE still running, specifically so I could, you know, do that. I'm sure that looks awfully familiar. Um, this is just so I can easily restart where I was at. Um, I have OBS open. This is actually how I'm recording this, so thus you get the infinite view! Woo! Um, so OBS is the software I use for vlogging when it comes to using my desktop or alternately vlogging for, I guess not really vlogging, but Let's Plays of any variety. Uh, let's see, what else to talk about? I obviously have Steam. I have a fairly large number of things running in Steam. The latest apps are usually sitting up here, and yes, I will in fact be doing a video on how to use YNAB at some point. Uh, I have a fairly large library of games, by the way. Yeah. I've got to stop buying video games. Anyway. Uh, let's see, what else do I have? I have KeyPass open. I'm not, in fact, going to open that, but I mentioned before that I use a password logging software, or password logging. I use a password management software, and the one that I use is KeyPass, so it's usually running. I frequently exit it, but in this case, I just recently needed to go log into something. Uh, let's see, I have OneNote running. My OneNote includes things like, this is actually from my old housing search about a year ago. Um, I've got my vlogs notes up here, I've got cooking stuff, I've got role-playing notes, and all sorts of fun things that I'm not going to be showing people. Um, current status as to how much CPU temperature that I'm using. I was comparing this to see how much of an impact I'm really having when I'm vlogging, how much of an impact I'm having when I'm editing, stuff like that, and I'm actually using a fairly decent amount of CPU utilization right now, and, well, give you a hint, this is only supposed to be a 2.6 gigahertz processor, so I'm heavily overclocked. Uh, let's see, there's not really much else. Um, in Chrome, I mentioned before I use Feedly, I, well, let's see. I have Adblock running, I have Enhanced Steam, I have FB Purity, which by the way, if you're using Facebook without FB Purity, I don't know how. Seriously, it's the only way I can make Facebook actually tolerable. I have Google Docs, I have Hangouts, I have Honey, which I have yet to actually use properly. I'm, in fact, let me just get rid of that now. Um, I've got Pocket, I'm not actually sure which of these versions is the correct version, so I have both in there. I have the Camelizer that lets me keep track of Amazon purchases. It doesn't actually support Newegg anymore, unfortunately. Um, Enhanced Steam actually does something very similar for Steam. It's kind of handy in that regard. Oh, let's see. What else? Oh, um, let's see. Other things to show you on Crin. So, Crin has a somewhat normal for me setup. Um, Namely, I have a 120 gig solid state drive, which is over 50% full at the moment because I've had to move a few things around. And my one terabyte hard drive that I throw most of my games on, plus all of my vlogs. Uh, that's the reason why I, to use it. I only have 369 gig free. I also throw a lot of my vlogs onto my file server, which has 2.66 terabytes total. It's actually three terabytes, but horrible rounding errors in partitioning, and I'm down to 539 gig free. At some point, I'm going to need to upgrade this. Um, that's, that's probably about it. Um, I'm doing this intentionally very fast, so I apologize if I sped through something that you want to see. If there's anything that you're curious about, just let me know, and I'll show it to you. Bye, everybody!